Avengers! Assemble. channel we're back with some more Marvel future fight content and today as you can see by the title we're going to be going ahead and equipping our brilliant ctp of insight our mighty ctp of insight and the regular ctp of insight that we pulled from the insight crafting event of course if you missed out on that then uh, make sure to definitely tune into the next one so what we went ahead and did is we actually made a community post uh three of them on the page we let it sit for two days and basically set out a vote for you guys to vote on uh which support characters for me to put them on uh, so without further ado, let's go take a look at the results. All right, we're here with the results, and they actually surprised me a lot. Uh, there was a couple that went back and forth for a while. Uh, but like I said, I gave you guys two days to vote, so if you missed out on it, uh, then make sure to stay tuned for uh, any other crafting event that we get. I'll probably be doing this again. But basically, I'll let you guys choose. So I gave you three options, the regular CTP, the mighty CTP, and the brilliant, and you guys all voted, and this is what ended up turning out. So for the regular CTP, we're going to be putting it on Taskmaster. So yes, Taskmaster got 47% there. Shuri ended up with 31. Uh, Sif was 6. And Ghost Rider 16. So these are the four supports that we used for every single vote. Uh, was Shuri, Sif, Taskmaster, and Ghost Panther. Uh, mainly because uh, any other good supports we already have CTPs on. Uh, and then there's just a couple others that we could have put it on. But these are the four that I mainly wanted uh, to be chosen from. So I'll let you guys choose from these four. So yeah, Taskmaster is the winner for the re regular CTP of Insight, so we're going to go ahead and put that on him. Then the Mighty is pretty interesting here. Shuri ended up winning uh, by a landslide here with 55%, and Ghost Panther ended 20%. But the problem with this is, is that on the Brilliant side, Shuri won by 1%. She had 42 with Ghost Panther's 41, Sif's 5, and then Taskmaster's 12. So here's the thing, and this is what I decided to go ahead and do. So... A lot of you guys were telling me that Ghost Panther uh, would be a great option right now uh, because Tier 4 Ghost Rider is the next uh, leak uh, leaked Tier 4 for this uh, mid-month update for Halloween. So Ghost Panther would be a great option. Now, the thing is, is uh, one of the other uh, content creators that I talked to was actually suggesting that I do give it to someone that I use the most. Um, and because Shuri won and because I use her the most, I'm deciding that I'm going to give her the brilliance. And I'll go ahead and give Ghost Panther the Mighty since he ended up second here. Uh, obviously, I can't give it, give both of them to Shuri. That'd be just an absolute waste. So we're going to go ahead and give Ghost Panther the Mighty. We're going to give Taskmaster the regular insight and then Shuri the brilliant. So unfortunately, Taskmaster, or not Taskmaster, Sif will be the only one not getting a CTP of insight. Uh, I'm sure once we get another one, though, we'll go ahead and throw it on her. So yeah, this one was the most interesting by far because it was Ghost Panther for a while. And then uh, all the Shuri fans came in and stole the votes, and it ended up being her win. So we got 66 votes on that one, 76 on this one, and then 86 on this one. Uh, so pretty good consensus, at least 60 on each. Um, so I was happy with the results. So thank you guys for voting on those, uh, and you guys basically influenced today's video. So now we're going to go ahead and hop into some runs. We're going to do some runs uh, without the CTPs of Insight, and then we're going to throw them on to sort of compare the times and see how much of a difference they really make. So let's hop straight on into it. All right, so now we're back in game, and we're going to go ahead and run with these three characters. Um, we're going to use them as supports on three World Boss Legend runs without the CTPs. So right now, Taskmaster only has a 140 proc. Shuri has a 200 proc, and Ghost Panther has a 140 then we're going to throw it on the insights and see uh, how big of a difference it makes. So let's hop straight on into it. We're going to be doing the same stage of Null, 19, Human Requirement. We're going to go ahead and run three different teams. Moon Knight uh, with Ty uh, Titania lead and Taskmaster support. Uh, She-Hulk lead with Sif support and Iron Man. And then Luna with White Fox debuff lead and then Ghost Panther. So yeah, let's hop straight on into it. We're starting with the Iron Man team. We're going to go ahead and make sure that we write down the time that it takes them the first time around. And then right down the second time, 
uh, so that we know how big of a difference the CTP of Insight makes uh, as far as giving your characters more damage. And I'll tell you, the brilliant one is probably the one we're going to see the biggest difference. Uh, so, so we got to make sure to keep an eye on that. So yeah, I thought stage 19 because it'll go by quick enough, but not too quick, uh, that we will be able to see a difference. Um, and obviously it'll vary a little bit depending on if we have a better run uh, in one case or the other. Uh, but we're still just going to do our best uh, to keep it consistent. Uh, but we'll have to see here. Um, of course, there's a lot of RNG to it as well. So some things are kind of out of our control. Um, but I thought I'd go ahead with 19. Because like I said, we can get through it pretty fast. That The video is not going to be too long. But we can also um, have enough time to see the damage. Uh, we're not just completely plowing through the entire run uh, and making it super easy. So here we go. And I also like to use some of my characters that I don't normally use. So I thought Moon Knight would be a nice one. Uh, and then you guys uh, haven't seen much Iron Man in a while. And then Luna might be the only one. We, you guys have seen plenty of Luna here. All right. So Iron Man gets this done. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. He stopped us there. I thought we were going to get that off, but apparently not. Uh, that's fine. Okay, our rotation's not coming back. And we unfortunately can't hit him just yet. There we go. Come on, let me hit him, let him hit him, let me hit him. Stop getting stunned. I heard he used the co-op, that's the problem. All right, there we go. So we could have got that done a little faster there, but uh, he gets it done uh, within 3 minutes and 52 seconds, meaning it took Iron Man, let me write this down, Iron Man, took him a minute and 8 seconds. So let's see how much faster that's going to be with the Brilliant. Um, let's go ahead and throw it right on her. We'll start with Shuri, why not? Here we go. So let's go straight on over to Shuri. We're going to go to custom gear, unfortunately get rid of this 200 uh Proc. We're going to go ahead and throw on the brilliant CTP of Insight. Um, so what it's got rolled on here is uh, applies to allies, increased basic damage dealt to boss types by 22%, max HP by 35%, all basic defense increase, uh, applies to allies, increased basic de damage dealt to supervillains, and then basic damage dealt to superheroes. Uh, and then the best rolls we can get here, we can get a 25 on the increased uh, basic damage dealt to boss types. Um, we could also get decreased additional pierce damage, which will be good for supports uh, in timeline battle and whatnot. Uh, and then the highest we can get for the increase uh, basic delta to supervillains and superheroes is that 30%. Uh, so we want to roll for that 25% on the yellow uh, applies to all allies here, the first uh, sort of thing. Uh, we'll probably do it in a separate video. For now, we're going to hold this. Uh, it's not bad. It's the second best roll, so we're just going to keep it. Let's go ahead and see now with the brilliant CTP of Insight. How this run looks, how different it is. Uh, obviously, same exact team, same strikers and everything you saw. Uh, I didn't change anything. Well, let's see how big of a difference is. A minute and eight seconds, remember, was the first time run. Let's see what this does for Iron Man. It's a lot more uh, increased uh, damage to um, boss types and supervillains. So this should be pretty good. And we're having the same consensus of the run. Nothing's changed. 14, 15 seconds. So that was pretty similar to the first time around. Let's see if now that we've gotten out of that, let's see how this goes. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pop the co-op and the one and two, just like we did first time around. And then we're gonna go ahead and pop a regular rotation here. And that should get us to 22. Yep, that got us to 22 faster than last time. So let's see, let's see, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and over here, get into the ring and then immediately, ooh, missed the time thing, but get a little stunned, but that's fine. Go ahead and pop the tier three, tier four. Run them all the way down to seven bars. Wow, that was crazy. That was actually insane. All right, here we go. So if we don't get stunned here, it's going to be about 20 seconds faster. Let's see. Well, we're obviously going to get stunned a bit because we don't have the co-op. But we get it done here. Boom, with four minutes and seven seconds remaining. So in total, let's see what that was. It's going to end up being... So the first run was a minute and eight seconds. That time was 53 seconds. So seven plus eight here is going to be 15 seconds faster than the first time around now of course this is a lower stage so i think if you go higher stages you'll probably see an even bigger increase uh but 15 extra seconds there is pretty nice uh, and like i said when you when you get into higher stages you can definitely see a bigger difference so now next up let's go with the mighty let's go ahead and go straight in with ghost panther support we of course got luna snow here let's see what her runtime is going to be the first time around uh let me get that queued up here to write down we're gonna see what her first time around is and then give uh ghost panther uh, the mighty um, CTP of Insight and see how he does. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and pop a regular rotation here. Very nice. You get some damage in. We're going to go ahead and pop this. Oh, we unfortunately popped the co-op, so we're going to get stunned. 
So we definitely got to remember that for the next run. And pop the one and two, and that should do it. Nice. All right, 20 seconds clear to the first phase. Very nice. You can obviously see the difference between her and Iron Man already. Um, yeah. All right, here we go. She's going to run on over to us. Come on, jump on us. We don't have the co-op to use on you, so you just kind of got to come at us. All right, we're going to pop the one and two here. Co-op. One and two again, and then we're going to go ahead and pop the tier three, tier four rotation. Should be enough to get into the next phase. Yep, nice. All right, here we go. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Here we go. Move, move. <laughs> I got completely stuck on him. That was unfortunate. So we're about a minute in here. Uh, let's see. This is. We'll probably see a bigger, uh, inc or a bigger decrease in time uh, with the mighty on Ghost Panther compared to the last one with Iron Man, because uh, he just kind of exploded through this content. Oh, but Luna's uh, making up for it there with that tier three rotation. We're now down to the last seven bars. Within a minute and seven seconds, eight seconds. So right there is where Iron Man finished the first time around, uh, which was insane. All right, we're going to go ahead and pop the co-op. and She can tank the cage a little easier. And there you go. She gets stage 19 done with three minutes and 44 seconds with Ghost Panther support. Obviously, he gives that increase to basic uh, to super villains and bosses. Uh, so that was a minute and 16 seconds. We got that written down. So now let's go ahead and put on the mighty CTP of Insight on Ghost Panther and let's see how that fares for him. Here we go. So we're going to get rid of this proc 2. Go ahead and unlock that. We're going to go ahead and place that on. Uh, but let's go ahead and try and land that um, increase to um, boss types here. Uh, let's see if we can get a good one. Because uh, I am curious to see uh, if we can go ahead and uh, get some more damage there. So that's additional 7% pierce for PV. Sorry about that. Our headphones disconnected. But yeah, that's going to be good for um, PvP, like we were saying earlier. So we got a increase by 12%. So basically the second best roll that we can get for boss types, just like the Brilliant. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's see how it does. We'll give it one more shot here with Luna, and then we'll move on to our Taskmaster support team uh, and see how that goes. Here we go. Last run here. Let's go ahead and see how it goes. So now she's got an additional 12%. Uh, increase there to uh, boss types, so that should help out a lot. And then, oh, the co-op still didn't come in clutch there. That was kind of annoying. I don't know why that didn't work, but it is what it is. Go ahead and pop all these skills and 20 second clear again. Nice. All right. Let's see. See if we can change things up this time. See if the time changes at all. And then let me know if you guys want to see a review for these insights uh, in PvP, because we could definitely take um what's her name shuri in the pvp and see uh what she can do if we get a different role on the brilliant or not um but although i do really like that role so we'll see we're gonna run over here to the circle nice and then we're gonna run straight back at him pop a regular rotation here with the co-op to deal some more damage and then we should get into the tier three rotation right here yep and then that should get us all the way down to seven bars nice 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 Good stuff there. Now, it's going to end up being around the same time. Okay, so maybe we won't see it until higher stages uh, of War Boss. Like I said, that could be very true for some of these characters. Uh, we might not see much until higher stages. But there you go. She gets it done within 3 minutes and 49 seconds. Uh, meaning that time it was, again, I think around the same time, 11. So yeah, 5 seconds faster. So yeah, not too much of a difference there. Um, but we obviously know it's it is working. All right, so then last but not least here we have of course our Moon Knight team. We have Taskmaster support. He's a great support for uh, weapon masters, and that is exactly what Moon Knight is. So let's take it in without the CTP, and then with the CTP and see if we see a difference. We obviously saw a difference with the Brilliance, uh, the Mighty. We saw a slight difference. Uh, maybe it's just too low of a stage. But now with this one, let's see let's see if we see a difference. I haven't played Moon Knight in a while either, uh, so just kind of fun to be able to go in on here and play him. Uh, can't wait for his uh, second season. I believe he might end up being the first tier four to get uh, a second a uniform while being at tier four. I think it's very possible. I don't know if we'll see anyone else uh, get that. And who knows? Maybe because of how far the show has been pushed back, maybe he ends up being the first tier five. Who really knows? All right, here we go. Probably transcended here. And we get uh, four minutes and 23 seconds in. 
Uh, so that's about a 37 second clear of the first phase. Uh, not too shabby. Here we go. Let's go ahead and have Noel run right at us. Pop the co-op and the one and two just to hit them a little bit. But we kind of missed it all, so it didn't matter. We accidentally missed that third skill. Oof, that's unfortunate. All right, let's build back up to it, though. And we'll be just fine. I accidentally proc there. Did not mean to do that. I was just trying to deal some damage. But it is what it is. Let's go ahead and pop that. Ooh, okay, okay. I thought, I thought we already had hit the 22, and we did, but it kind of just froze, and he tanked a lot. Uh, but he's just fine. He'll heal immediately, so we're good. Didn't waste any time as at all either because he went ahead and cutscened. So we're fine. We missed the third skill, but honestly, I'm okay with that because I wanted uh, to get him healed up anyways. Uh, we didn't want to risk getting him killed or anything, and his rotation will get go back to normal here uh, after we pop a couple of these skills. And no way we're going to... Oh, we couldn't skip the dragon phase. We ended up getting stuck there. He immediately moved out of the way when we popped our rotation. That is some serious bad luck right there. Um, yeah, this run could have definitely been a lot better. So I, th I think as long as we can skip the dragon phase next time, I think we'll definitely see an increase in his time with... Uh, What's his name? Taskmaster getting that CTP of insight. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and see here. Let's go ahead and get him over here. Pop the co-op and immediately kill him as fast as we can. Because like I said, we should have killed him already a long time ago. Here we go. Hopefully that's enough. And yep, nice. So two minutes exactly it took Moon Knight. Let me write that down as well so I don't forget. Uh, and then let's go ahead and go put the last CTP we have which is the regular CTP of Insight on Taskmaster, and then we're all set here. Here we go. Let's go ahead and slap this bad boy on. I'm going to get rid of that 140 proc, unfortunately. And so for this one, we just got an increased basic damage dealt to supervillains by 10%. So let's see how much that 10% is really going to do for us here uh, for our boy Moon Knight. Last run of the video, uh, and then we'll wrap things up for today. Here we go. Let's get Moon Knight in on here. Uh, let's hopefully uh, see an increase in time. Uh, and obviously skipping that dragon phase will be a great start to that. All right, we're going to try and proc a little bit more here instead of just spamming everything. Especially because he's a transcendent. You don't really need to build up to that tier 3 or anything. So pro focusing on proccing sometimes will be a lot more uh, important and beneficial. All right, come on. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. No. Come on. There you go. Regular rotation, nice, 30 second clear of the first phase, so 7 seconds faster. So we're already seeing a time change, that's nice. Alright, here we go, come on, jump at me. Come on, come on, you know you want to do, oh, we got time frozen somehow, okay. <laughs> alright, alright, true, true. Here we go, pop transcended. Nice, 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 we should definitely have hit that 22 bar mark, but don't worry, the first second skill, we're coming in clutch there. And getting uh, us just that. Let's go ahead and run to the circle here. I cannot see, but we're standing right on it, so we're just fine. We pop the regular rotation here, and then we'll build up right to the transcendent rotation before the dragon phase. Oh nope, never mind. He's going to straight to the dragon phase. Can we skip it this time? I don't know. Oh, I accidentally hit the transcendent skill instead of the. Oh nope, nope, not again. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's unfortunate, but it's fine. All right, here we go. Is he gonna move? Oh, he's gonna move. Yeah, I thought I, I think I hit the transcendent skills instead of the fifth skill, um, and I think that's what slowed us down a little bit there on our damage. Uh, but it is what it is. It happens. All right, let's go ahead and pop the transcendent now. That'll get us down seven bars, and that leaves us with exactly 28 seconds. So hopefully we can get this off in the next five seconds to beat our old score, our old time by 20 seconds. We're gonna be quite short. Oh, a little bit even more shorter. There we go. It's a 15-second difference this time. We got it done in a minute and 45 seconds rather than two minutes. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll have to do some further testing uh, with the Brilliant and Mighty mess around with it um, a little bit. Let me know if you guys want uh, to see me uh, test it out at all for PvP-wise with Shuri because uh, I could definitely go ahead and do that. And even maybe Ghost Panther for Jean because uh, he is a pretty good support for her um, and just a good support overall. But yeah, so we saw a 15-second increase in the Brilliant. Um, we saw a 5-second increase in the Mighty. Then we saw around a 10 to 15 increase on the regular insight. So yeah, it definitely makes a difference. But like I said, probably applies more as uh, it gets harder. You'll probably notice it on higher stages. Um, but yeah, so I decided to go with those characters. Just one last thing to wrap up the video, uh, just in case you were wondering, because uh, I have a bunch of other supports that already have insights. Uh, my White Fox already has an insight. 
Um, let's see if you think about any other supports here. Um, my Valkyrie already has a CTP of Insight. Um, obviously, Sif was one of the options who did not get it, but maybe she will uh, eventually. Uh, Beta Ray is just a lead. There was one other one. I think it was Wasp was another one that we were considering, um, but we're all good there um, because uh, she's not super meta anymore. She's still good. Don't get me wrong, uh, but she's definitely not the best. And I don't know why I feel like there was one other support, but I think that's pretty much it uh, as far as the ones that I wanted to let you know that we did already have uh, an insight on them. So, oh, uh, Cyclops. Yeah. So we already had an insight on him, too. Uh, so that's why he wasn't on the list. Um, so, yeah, so those are the three that we went with. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far. And I'll let you guys know any more findings that I find. Um, obviously, this is my first brilliant CTP on the account. So it feels great to equip it. Um, and it's of course my first brilliant and mighty insights. Uh, so yeah, it felt pretty good. But yeah, that'll do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, as always, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel, guys. We'll see you all in the next video. Have a great rest of your day and peace out.